Hi YouTube. Oh, this is gonna be my next interim project here. I just set up a little uh, push pull amp made by uh, of uh, PCL 86, two of them. This is the, uh, the output transformer. And this is the housing with the speaker. I want to put this all inside here. I have done the mechanics already. Uh, it all fits inside. <laughs> and um, I just set up the whole thing and it's working like, like I wanted to. So here's a little demo of it. I hope you like it. Yeah. This is made, uh, made of uh, an old radio, which, is, which had been not not uh, working anymore. Uh, and this is all wood. And I uh, just uh, did a part new Tolex. I need still to uh, Tolex this side and that's a with new one because this is not good anymore because it's very cheap Tolex so I do a new cover and um, I just was curious how the transformer um, operates so I just set the whole thing up and test out the output transformer I just be able to get around uh, 8 watts at uh, 230 volts uh, plate voltage and yeah so far so good I just came around uh, with another video when I put this all inside here. So just take a closer look at it. Okay, as the PCL tubes got a pentode and a triode inside this one. Um, I used the triode for the amplifier and this is uh, the this one the triode section is the face splitter and I just came up with this little thing here it's a Bandaxal network this you can set the amount of base you want to have got um, 15 dBs of attenuation and 10 dBs of um, boosting so you can do a lot with the setup here this is I got the, the tube here for the gain um, and to provide the overall gain of unity so and this over here represents the um, master control <laughs> volume. <laughs> I need to have a, a 4700K, which I haven't at the moment, so I just set it up to 110 to keep the volume down because it's very late. It's about 10 to 11 p.m. So even with this is a very old speaker out of um, 
Rundig Reel to Reel Machine and it's the uh, biggest speaker for this housing inside here you can see not really more space for a larger one so I put this inside here so and this is how it looks like and here I just done a front panel for right. this one this is it and this is a top view I just want to demonstrate that it is possible to do some valve prototyping with this breadboard things but you need to be careful because of the high voltage I just um, do it like I use maybe this row I leave this one empty and the next row I uh, do some more connections because uh, inside the clearance between two lines is too, too narrow for the high voltages when I do the when I done the first tests on breadboard with valves or tubes I came across some uh, arcing because of the high voltage we are just running the whole system about 210 20 25 20 yeah 220 volts DC from my power supply over here and so the clear clearance between the rows is not large enough to prevent arcing so I just leave one spare and this is gonna work very very good until you reach 300 or 350 roundabout it arcs then but uh, these tubes are for a maximum of 250 volts rated when under current so this is in the limits and I wa don't want to blow the tubes up because the tubes are very cool And therefore, I just leave it at 220, 230 volts DC. And this one here is the output transformer over here. Distance impedance of uh, 9K, and it's also ultra linear capable. But uh, I just leave this. This here the. Touch the you see this here maybe come on focus here no some cables in between no focus okay let's see if this focus over here okay. do it here we go anyway I got some more over here Maybe this is gonna be a little better to see it, I don't know. Mm. Here we go. Okay, we got 9K between uh, a node connection and here you see the screen grids had got tabs as well. And it's well 8 ohms as well as 4 ohms and the secondary winding. So it's really cool. And I got it a, a lot cheap. It's, I got this real cheap. I don't tell you how cheap. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's why I bought 4 of them. Uh, okay. And that should be it for this 
Thanks YouTube for watching and have a good time in between and see you. Bye bye.